Everybody's a suspect! Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the Movie Corner. This is a new type of segment that I'm doing. It's kind of a free-for-all. I do talk about movies, maybe even sway off the horror section for a while as well. But in this one today in particular, we're going to be talking about valuable movies in our collections. Now, value doesn't have to be money related. It could be nostalgia. It could be for any reason why this movie is valuable. Uh, in your collection. Now I do have some requests for topics for my movie corner. A lot of requests that I've been getting is show your movie collection. I have shown my movie collection before. It wasn't too long ago in the distant past so I don't really want to go through it all again because not much has changed. I've got a few extras obviously um, but some people have mentioned to me why don't you show a few of your valuable ones so I thought that's a good idea so I'm going to go through some of my valuable movies. I'll give you the reasons why they're valuable, of course, uh, and then we can talk about it afterwards. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start up the top and work my way down. Again, there might be some non-horror that I'll show you, but don't worry, it's still a horror channel. Um, the first one that comes to mind in sense of value is this one here. Uh, this is valuable to me in a couple of ways. One, I grew up loving the house movies, and two, it actually sold out pretty quickly. Uh, now you can only buy the single editions and the smaller box set but this is the box set that comes with the thick hard booklet and the, the thin cases with the blue bits which I don't like but it's still pretty rare and very valuable so that is the house collection from Arrow that's the first pressing that came out uh, moving along um, again I'm just going through this live to myself so I don't know what I'm going to be pulling out until I see it, I might even pass things. You might even notice a few things that you think, oh, that's valuable, but it might not be to me. Moving along. Mm. I've just noticed I don't have a lot of valuable Arrow releases, which I used to have as well. Um, I don't think these are valuable in terms of money, but I've, I've heard that the, the price of the Jeepers Creepers movies are going up. Um, even with the UK are getting the same kind of artwork, so I don't know. I'm not going to include them. So that is the top shelf. So if we head on down to the next shelf, we've got maybe the Nightbreed collection from Screen Factory. Uh, I wouldn't sell this because it's all bashed up, but that's kind of valuable. To me, not very valuable, but it's a valuable-ish item. So I'll put that back in. Uh, when it comes to the Slasher Classics collection, you know, some might be valuable, some, some might not be. Uh, but in particular, I just found out that the Children of the Corn box set is valuable now, in terms of money. Um, some people try to sell part two alone for like £60, which I find bizarre. Um, but each to their own. Um, there is a few more. This is very valuable now, just before dawn. Very nostalgic in value for me as well because it's one of the very first horror movies that I ever saw. And I think it might be the first horror movie that I ever saw and it still holds up to this day because it's absolutely incredible. So we'll stick that back in. Um, one for definite that's valuable is... Um, where is it? There it's there, Blood Harvest. Slash a Classics Collection number 34. The reason that this is valuable, well two reasons, I've got the slip cover with it and they had to stop the production or the sale of this. I think they either lost the rights to it after they released it or I don't know, they found out something that they weren't supposed to. I don't know, um, but I got it anyway. Um, this is becoming quickly valuable. I noticed that this sold out big time and very fast. The, I know what we did last summer box set from 88 Films. It's now, if you're buying it now, I need to leave that out just now. Uh, if you're buying it now, you're only getting the thin version. So I quickly got that one. Moving along. Anything valuable here? Um, you could say this is valuable in terms of collector wise. This is the Indicator series. Christine, this is the very first Indicator release. As you can see, it's number one. Um, I've kept it sealed, so that could become valuable because it is the very first. This is the, the first pressing, so I think it's got the booklet in it as well. 
Uh, they did release the second pressing after this, which comes in a standard Amory case. This is obviously the collector's case. So you could say that that's valuable. So if we move along. Um, I think that's all for this shelf. The next one down, we've got maybe this will become valuable. This is like a HMV, HMV exclusive. Is a Cine edition, um, 4K, The Evil Dead. It comes with a poster and things like that, so it's pretty cool. I did show it on the channel before, uh, but it's a really nice release of The Evil Dead. Um, moving along, this Friday the 13th collection, I guess the value will be determined in a couple of years' time. Uh, it's not as valuable as the Halloween one because the Halloween one shot up in price really fast, whereas this one's actually going down in price. So maybe they produced too many copies of it because people are trying to get rid of some of their copies. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer. This is a spare box that I bought. It, it came scratched. So this is an empty box that I bought off of eBay for like £20 because I do like the artwork. Um, and this is the obviously the full version that I got myself. So value in that. Maybe. Um, this comes with nostalgic value, Fright Night. Uh, I did have the Twilight Time release, that was the only release that was available for years. Um, and I eventually sold it for like £60. Not that I was scalping, but I thought I might as well sell it and buy this one for like a tenner. Um, so, nostalgia value. This obviously has got some nostalgia value as well. The Gate. I love the Gate. These are worth nothing, but again, they're a lot of value to me because these remind me of the video stores when I was younger. The Ghoulies movies, Ghoulies 1 and 2. I know there's a Ghoulies 3 and 4, I think. Um, but the first two are very memorable. Uh, moving along, we've obviously got our value items here. The Halloween collection from Scream Factory. Uh, I do have two of these. <coughs> Excuse me. However, this one is the one that I bought myself when they first came out. Um, I know it's worth a lot of money now. This one... Uh, I only bought the box and the cases um, for like £30 and I was like wow I'll buy that and then I ended up getting the individual discs over time so I've got two full sets which is good because obviously they're valuable uh, moving along I think this is becoming a little bit valuable now the Steelbook this is the 35th anniversary UK Steelbook so there's a bit of value to that um, I think quite a few Halloween movies have got a bit of value to them. This will possibly become more valuable over time. This is one of the newest releases on Steelbook. This, to me, <coughs> excuse me, is my most valuable. Um, and a lot of people still don't understand why. But I have never seen anyone sell this online anywhere in the world. This, I believe, is possibly an Austrian release that is sold in Germany. Um... You can buy it still, but it only comes without the slipcover. This is the 30th anniversary of Halloween 2, so it came out in 2011. Um, and I, I bought one of the first pressings of it, and it came with a slipcover. And then I bought a couple of more pressings, uh, a couple more releases of it, hoping I would get the slipcover with it, and I didn't. Um, so this is the only one I ever received with a slipcover, and I've never seen anyone else selling this with a slipcover on it. So to me, it's very valuable. Not sure how much it's worth, because I know that people... When I mention the value of this, people jump on to me and say, oh, it's only worth about five, ten pounds. Look, and then they show me a listing of this with this image. But I can guarantee if you buy it, it won't have the, the slip cover with it. So this is very valuable. How much? I've absolutely no idea. Um, I'll pull these two out at the same time because they are one of the first Screen Factory releases or two of the first Screen Factory releases. Uh, and they're becoming a little bit more valuable with the slip covers. Without them, they're not worth as much, but with them, they're worth quite a bit. I'm not actually checked to the value of these ones. These are, again, Screen Factory, but this time they're steelbooks, and they're limited to 10,000. They're still sealed. Don't want to open them, because to me, they're valuable. These I had to buy because they're quite unique, because when you... I think these are Spanish. They obviously make a nice image. Um, so, will they become valuable? Possibly. No idea. I don't know what the print run was. Um, so that concludes this level. Down to this level, we've got Ghost Town. Um, 
I know the movie itself is not that valuable with the without the slipcover, but I think this is one of the releases where they only sent out a limited amount of slipcovers, uh, depending on when you bought the movie. So in terms of slipcover, I think it's quite valuable and quite rare. Not too sure, um, but Ghost Town, I'll, I'll mention that anyway. Uh, moving along. Is this valuable? No, I don't know. I spit on your grave. It is one of the most complete versions of the movie. And I know that every time they release this movie on Blu-ray, the next version is the most complete version, so I've absolutely no idea. But this is the ultimate collector's edition. So to me, it's valuable. Moving along. Um, when it comes to the Monster Squad, obviously every release of the Monster Squad is valuable. So this, to me, is valuable, the 20th anniversary edition. It did become very expensive at one point, but now it's back down in price because there's other versions available of this film, but that was valuable at one point, but still will always remain valuable to me. They released the All of Films edition a few years later, which is not not a great release, to be honest, and it's locked to Region 1. Uh, this is obviously the best edition that I've got of the Blu-ray, and that is the, the, the German release, is it German? Um, it's Wicked Media, Wicked Vision, sorry, apologies. Um, it's all in German inside, so the only reason I bought this version is because there's no German script at the front or the back, uh, front or the spine, which is ideal when you're displaying it in the collection, but it's very valuable to me. <clears throat> oh, this is the Monster Squad trading cards. They're not old. Uh, Raygun is the company that makes these. He does custom um, trading cards. Thought I'd mention that since I'm passing by. Hey, if Vinny DeSante is watching, this may be valuable. He sent me this as a gift and it's got his autograph inside. So thanks for that, Vinny. Uh, this is quite valuable. This is another Twilight Time, one of the first Twilight Time releases. I think they first released. Um, blah, blah, blah. Fright Night and then after that they released Night of the Living Dead and Christine round about the same time and everybody tried to jump on the bandwagon of purchasing these to sell them uh, I didn't, I just purchased it and kept it but it's still sealed, there's an issue with the the colour grading on this release that people were complaining about I didn't see it because it's still sealed but I'm keeping it sealed I'll probably buy a UK release at one point uh, what else have we got? Let's move along. Again, I don't, when I'm looking through my collection, I don't have that much value to the collection, to be honest. It's quite uh, quite sad. This looks like it's going to be quite valuable. Uh, Drum Dum sent me this as a gift, which is really generous of him. This is the Shaun of the Dead uh, Steelbook Limited Edition, and it's got the 4 Electric uh, ID card, which is quite nice. I think he sent me because it's a UK release, but I'll keep that in the collection. I already had it on standard edition, so that's why this one is staying sealed, because it's really nice. So, on to the next level. Okay, on the next level, there's no value to this whatsoever, but I want to mention it, because this... Oh, I don't really want to show it, in fact. <laughs> um, but this SS Experiment Camp, this... The only reason I bought this is because I used to collect the Total Film magazine, and when I started getting into horror again, I bought the Total Film release that had Video Nasties. Uh, and this is one of the Video Nasties. And it always just reminded me of collecting the Total Film magazine. So I had to buy it when it was when it got released. But there's no sentimental value whatsoever. Uh, I don't think I've even ever seen this movie. Uh, it's probably terrible, but it's in the collection anyway. SS Experiment Camp. Uh, moving along. This is pretty valuable, I believe. Trick or treat the slipcover itself. I hunted this one down, eventually got it. Um, and it's a nice slipcover. And I like the shine on it. Really nice. Uh, moving along. Moving along again. Uh, and the reason I never mentioned these ones, guys, is because there's no value to these whatsoever. They're terrible. That includes this one. I never bought any more after buying these two, but they are bad. 
Uh, now we're going on to non-horror. Uh, when it comes to non-horror, there's not a lot of value in the releases that I get because I don't really spend a lot of money on getting valuable items that are non-horror. However, this has uh, got some value to it, I would imagine. The butterfly effect, this comes off so you don't get the, the logo. And it's quite a nice release. I do love the butterfly effect. It's one of my favourite movies of all time. So that comes off. So that's a really nice release. It's a media book. Uh, I believe it's from Germany as well. So that's a nice release. Casino Royale, I've not actually seen anyone showing this in a long time. Um, it's like a, a fold out digibook, or digipack I should say. Um, don't know why I bought it to be honest. I do love Casino Royale, but I don't know why I would buy a very special edition. Maybe I was feeling generous at the time. Um, if that's out the way. The Goonies. That steelbook itself, I don't know the value of it, but The Goonies again is one of my favourite movies of all time. So, I had to buy the steelbook. I did have a lot of steelbooks before, but I sold most of them because steelbooks were becoming the norm. <coughs> they weren't becoming the special releases anymore. Uh, if anything, slipcovers or amores were rarer than a steelbook. So that's why I sold the steelbooks. Kept some of them for sentimental value. Uh, and the goodies was one of them. Okay, apologies guys, I had to skip a couple of levels because there was no point in going through the next two rows because there was nothing there of any value. So I'm skipping down to some of my horror movies. Um, I think, yeah, these are Scream Factory. I never opened these. Um, most of these are available on Blu-ray now. So that's the reason I haven't opened them. But I will upgrade. Um, Assault and Precinct 13, this release I don't really see people showing, so rarity wise it could be quite rare. And it's got a brochure and photo gallery inside, quite fancy. I don't think this is rare but it's quite nostalgic for me, this is Blood Tracks. It's a, I don't even know if it's a bootleg or wherever it came from, I can't remember. Um, but it's the best version available for Blood Tracks as far as I'm aware. Well, that's cool. Uh, I bought this because I wanted the, the digibook, but somebody sent me half of it. They never sent me the full digibook. Literally, this is the inside of it they've sent me. It comes with a, a cover and a sleeve, and I bought this years ago. I couldn't be bothered arguing with them, so I just left it. Um, moving along. I know this is available on Blu-ray now, but Dark Knight the Scarecrow, that was quite cool. Um, if we move along here, Elliot Gould is amazing in this film, Dead Men Don't Die. I was scared of this when I was a kid, but then when I bought it on DVD, it was a PG. I didn't even realise it was coming out on DVD, um, but I noticed it in a cheap shop and I thought, oh my goodness, Dead Men Don't Die. That was a funny movie. Um, is that rare now? I'm not too sure. This is the Odanka Bay DVD trilogy of the Evil Dead. There could be some value to that, you never know. Uh, I know this is valuable for now. Fright Night 2, the Artisan release. Um, that was worth a lot of money at some point. The art, just the Artisan one, any other cheaper versions weren't worth much. Uh, but I know that was worth a bit of money. That's some of my Halloween movies. Okay, onto the bottom shelf. This is a little bit valuable. This is, I think it's a HMV Canada release. Sorry, I'm on the floor now, guys. This is a lenticular. There is a Halloween 2 from Rob Zombie lenticular release that I didn't manage to pick up. Uh, but this has got some value to it now, I believe it has. And I do like the look of it. That's the reason I've not sold it yet. And it's still sealed as well. Uh, this is going to be difficult with one hand. There we go. Um, so, moving along, what else do we have? Because I'm on the floor, I'm actually looking through the camera now to see. Uh, just before dawn, um, not this release, this was like a fiver. This was like a cheap UK DVD release. But this was the, the two disc edition. This is like the best edition of just before dawn until the Blu-rays started coming out. Uh, but this is a really good release. 
This had a little bit of a value as well before it got re-released by MGM. This was Lady in White Director's Cut. I really hated the artwork on this because it was just so clumpy and very unprofessional. But it's got its value now. Um, the last house on the left, I think maybe the three disc edition DVD is worth a bit of money. Because again, this is one of the movies where it would always release a, a version of it and it would be the most complete Ultimate Edition ever. And then two years later you get another most complete Ultimate Edition ever. And so on and so on. So the last house on the left, that's one of the movies that always done that. Uh, this one, the Midnight Hour is one of my most valuable. It probably is in the top couple, top two or three most valuable DVDs. Um, this is worth about £100. You could possibly get it for about £50 or £60 if someone's feeling generous on eBay. This is the Anchor Bay release. Don't look at the bootlegs. You get a lot of bootlegs that people sell for like £10. Uh, but this is the real deal, the, the real McCoy, the Anchor Bay edition. So if you ever want the Monsters, uh, the Midnight Hour sorry, on DVD, that's the only official release there is. Uh, this is also the Midnight Hour, but it's a Spanish release. And I don't think it's official. It came out a few years ago. La Noche del Belli de Medianola. That means the night we dance or something. Uh, but yeah, The Midnight Hour. Some of my most valuable movies of all time. Um, anything else here? This isn't valuable, but I do like it. Uh, there is a more complete version of this with like a tool, like a, a first aid kit. Uh, the Sleepaway Camp 3 disc box set. I know there's an American version with like a, looks like a first aid kit, which is pretty cool. But this is the Anchor Bay release and Anchor Bay DVDs were quite sought after at the time. So, that's them. Um, nothing else, I don't think, guys. To be honest, I think that's about it. I do have DVDs that are non-horror, but... As far as I remember, none of them are really valuable, so I'm not really going to go through them. But that is the... Look at that dust. Um, that is the valuable Blu-rays and DVDs that I've got, and 4K. So that is all the valuable movies, in my opinion, that I have in my movie collection. Obviously, the question goes to you now, guys. What's your most valuable movie or movies in your collection? It doesn't have to be horror. It could be any genre. It doesn't have to be a rare movie that's worth a lot of money. What is valuable to you? What determines the word value to you when it comes to your movie collection? As always, leave a comment down below, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.